Hi everyone, um, today I am going to show you how to deploy your serverless dev function using serverless framework. So um, yeah, so first of all we are going to create a new uh, project. So in this case um, I am going to my I'm going to route to my floater that I usually keep my um, project, side project, and then, okay, so now, yeah, we are going to create a new project. So you can start with serverless command after you already, you have already installed the serverless framework. In this case, I have version 3, that's why I have a a different UI where for version 3 they have um, added this functionality where you can just choose what um, template you like so in this case I'll start with the starter then you name your project so I'll name it step function hello world and then it's going to download your template Click successfully and now it's going to ask you if you want to um, set your org because this one is going to uh, link to your dashboard which we don't need and it's going to ask you if you want to deploy in this case I'm not going to deploy it yet so I'll say no and then we are going to route to that uh, new project folder. So, okay, and then I'm going to open the project. Yeah, and then now you're in here. Okay, so. First, we are going to npm init for us to be able to install node module. I'm going to put my name there. Okay, so now we are um, we have the package JSON. So next step, we are going to install the the um, serverless the function package. I'm going to come back to the website guidelines and it's going to tell you what is the next step. So the first step, we are going to install the npm package. So we're going to copy that. We are going to go back. And then I'm going to pass it in here. So it's going to install the serverless step functions for us to be able to um, deploy our serverless step function okay so now let's see in here yeah we have let's check out json okay it's installed under that dependency the serverless step function so then and then we're going to go back to the document and the next step, we are going to add the plugin section inside our serverless demo for us to be able to use that uh, plugin. Okay, and then we have that. So the next step, we are going to go back to the document and we copy the example of. Uh, function so we copy that and we are going to pass it in here and we're gonna delete some stuff with, the, with that we don't need so I'm going to delete some of the code we don't need the align we can keep the tag and um, yeah, so in this case, it's going to um, 
have one task that um, the source where it will make a call to the lambda function that we have up here so and then I'm gonna delete some stuff right here because we don't need that yeah and then I'm going to delete this so I think that should be it and now we are going to deploy our serverless uh, function so serverless deploy AWS because in this case I'm not using uh, the default so I have my personal account that I like to deploy so enter and it's gonna take like 100 seconds to deploy yeah so with the um, serverless version 3 it has a live like how how long it will take is it will count while it's deploying which is really nice this is um i think this is new because i use serverless version 2 and it had a kind of diff different ui and they just released this version 3 recently so i just took it out and it looks pretty cool they have um they have like this and then they also have something that we used before where we can um, when you when you create a project you can choose the template that you like to start with um, okay so first is going to update the cloud formation stack yeah in this case it's going to deploy to um, is this one and stage is that that it's a default okay. yeah, it's gonna take um, some time to deploy um, what is it lambda function and then it's going to deploy on the rest Yeah, if you have a chance to um, use uh, serverless version three, let me let me let me know below how do you like it and maybe you like which what do you like about it and yeah, I would love to hear about about that. So now it's updating. Yeah, it's only take one hundred. 26 seconds to deploy our lambda function and our step function and now you can go to your console and you can play omega execute your your step function and i think that is it thank you